Living Power with Dan Hurd. Just knowing your spiritual gift isn't enough. Just knowing your ministry isn't enough. Once you know your spiritual gift and your ministry, there has to be a place of service. That's what the Bible teaches us. And so it's important for you to know your spiritual gift, but it is also important for the rest of us to know what your spiritual gift is so that we can benefit from it. After all, the purpose of the spiritual gift is not for you, but for the rest of the body of Christ. So your spiritual gift is for our benefit, not for yours. Your ministry is for our benefit, not for yours. The place that God puts you to serve is for the benefit of those people in that area, not for yours. And it is important as we go through these, these seven basic gifts, as we study them over the next few weeks, that you understand, and I want you to know what these gifts are for two reasons. One, because it may be your gift and you'll understand something about the characteristic and the misuses of those gifts. But also, it's important for you to know what that gift is and how it can be applied and used in your life when other people, when God wants to use other people in your life. So you may not have, today for example, the first gift we're going to look at is the gift of prophecy. You may not have the gift of prophecy, but you need that gift of prophecy in your life. And again, remember, prophecy is proclaiming the word, not foretelling, but proclaiming the word. So you need to know what these gifts are because in knowing what the gifts are, you'll know how God wants to use them in your life. But not only that, when we look at the misuses of the gift, you'll understand, yep, that's some, something that we know that we have to watch out for. Sometimes people misuse their gifts. And if they do these things, they're misusing the gift. And we need to be careful about that. And we need to be sensitive to that.